This video covers another somewhat advanced topic in Scala, and that is the topic of views. And views relate to collections and efficiency. Now, as a general rule, I tell my students in CS1 that we're not going to worry too much about efficiency. If you're just learning how to program, the first thing you should worry about is learning how to think about problems and break problems down. And that there are lots of ways to solve problems, but when you are going through them, you should pick the approach that makes the most sense to you. And then later on in your computing career, we worry more about how to make things efficient. But it's worth noting that there can be different efficiencies for things. So to illustrate the use of views, we should talk briefly about something like, let's see, let's make some numbers equals I really don't care. But let's go ahead and make a fair number of them. And these are just going to be random numbers. So we have a hundred random numbers. And what I want to do is I want to add up, say, all of the values that have, I want to add up the squares of all of the values where the square is less than 0.25, okay? So we would normally write this as something like I want to take each value and I want to square it. And then I'm going to filter so that I only keep the things less than 0.25 and then I would sum this. Now this is perfectly happy working code. But it turns out that having a map call here actually creates a completely new array. And then having a filter call takes that array as input and creates yet another new array. And then the sum runs through that third array. So we have the original array, we create a second one, we create a third one, and then we run through that third one. And that's a little bit inefficient. That is because the standard collections in Scala are what are known as strict. So every time that we call one of these, we're actually creating a new one there on the spot. We can actually get the same answer in a slightly more efficient method by using views. So we can take our initial collection and call view on it. And the view gives us back a non-strict kind of wrapper around the original collection so that when we call map, turns out the map doesn't give us back a new array, it gives us back a view of that array. And then if we call the filter on that, once again we get a different type of view on here. And it's not until we actually call the sum that it winds up going ahead and doing the calculation. So map and filter on a view have very little overhead to them. They just basically sit there and wait and say, we're going to square all the elements later when you need them, and we're going to cut down for the ones that are supposed to be less than 0.25, and then you sum them all up. Once again, given the programs that you're writing at this point, there's probably no need for you to include this in your code. It's just one of those things that is worth pointing out so that when you do get to the point where you are concerned about efficiency, you'll realize that, hey, there are other things that I can do in my code that will make it so that it runs faster than what I would create by default.